I'm here with Daniel Warren Johnson, creator of Space Mullet. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. How have you been enjoying the convention so far? It's been good. It's, uh, it's been nice, a steady flow of people. Um, it's been really fun. I've been talking to a lot of new people and to some, new, some old fans from when I first started my comic back in 2012 last year have come to say hi and ask for permissions. So it's been a good show. It's been great. I've been having so much fun. How did you get interested in comics? Uh, probably Calvin and Hobbes. My mom got me like a Calvin and Hobbes collection like when I was a kid. I remember sitting down and like eating grilled cheeses like every single afternoon and reading Calvin and Hobbes from like front to back. So yeah, that's when I first got into it. From there it built in like, you know, my parents got me Spider-Man and so yeah, it was started with Calvin and Hobbes though, to be sure. So yeah. And how did you uh, progress artistically? Uh, I was privately trained through high school, um, like art, art-wise, privately art, classically trained by this awesome woman named Rosetta, who was from Italy. And from then, I went to a college at North Park, which is in Chicago here on the north side. And uh, I actually got a degree to teach uh, art, like art education. And uh, I taught in Chicago for a while, and it was a little much for me, like with the urban art teaching. So I got out of that, and now I'm doing freelance art and design in Chicago. So storyboard art, concept art, some graphic design, and then comics. Uh, can you tell our viewers a little bit about Space Mullet? Yeah, it's about a, uh, it's a science fiction webcomic. I update it twice a week. There's about 80 pages. Um, Space-mullet.com. If you Google Space Mullet, it's the first thing that shows up. Um, it's about a, uh, a washed-up like ex-space marine named Jonah and his alien uh, co-pilot, Alpheus. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a misadventure story. So he's a trucker and he kind of goes back and forth from different galaxies and it's kind of like, I think like Bad Boys with like uh, with a little bit of like Calvin and Hobbes, Buddy Buddy, but then with also like some Quentin Tarantino violence with like Starship Troopers kind of thing. What was the inspiration for the comic? Uh, you know, I was at my church one day <laughs> And my church has this funny, like, uh, they call it a, like a mullet party, because my church has a bunch of hipsters in it, I guess. And it was a guy who had, like, you know, it was just, it, the lo it, was like, it was like a logo, and it was just of a mullet and a mustache. And I was like, man, nobody really has a cool character that has, like, a mullet, you know, that's successful. <laughs> Maybe for a good reason, but that got my brain started. Because mullets now are kind of out of style, it's kind of awkward, and I thought that reflected well for my character, who's kind of, like, He's kind of a loser, you know, he's kind of chubby, he's got a pop belly. Um, he doesn't really, he can't, he's, he used to be a marine, but he can't shoot for shit or anything like that. You know, sorry to swear. Uh, but so that's where the inspiration, that's where the visual inspiration came from, where everything for me starts from. So, yeah. Would you ever grow a mullet? <laughs> no, I don't think, so. I mean, would you ever, would you stay married to me with a mullet? It's debatable, I don't know. That's my wife, so, yeah, no, probably not. Actually, definitely not. Never. However, I've had people who come up with mullets who specifically stop to check it out because it's involved with mullets. So I need to start, you know, reaching out to more of the mullet community. <laughs> uh, can you tell us a little bit about how the storyline is going to progress in uh, future posts? Oh, man. Well, as of right now, I don't want to give too much away, but... Uh, of course. Yeah. Well, Alpheus is in bad shape. We're on chapter three right now, and Jonah's trying to get a medical help. Um, and we're introducing new characters in chapter three. So cha I'm like 11 pages into chapter three right now, and each chapter is about 44 pages. So um, chapter three would be like expand expanding the cast. Um, there's going to be uh, like a science fiction version of like roller derby happening in chapter three, which is going to be really fun. Um, yeah, and, man, gosh, I'm trying to figure out what I can say that won't give anything away. It's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically expanding the cast while also driving the story forward. So not just, you know, going in circles, but I have an end point in mind. Maybe about 12 chapters of content, and then I'm going to end it. So we'll see. Well, thank you very much for talking with us, and I hope you all check out Space Mullet on SpaceMullet.com. Uh, Space-Mullet. Dash Mullet. Dash Mullet.